hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm shanik beckford today i will be sharing with you or discussing with you rather about the vaccine uh should christian stay the vaccine is it the mark of the beast uh, for more information on this just go ahead and stay tuned Welcome to my channel. As I said before, my name is Shanique Beckford. If you are new here, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Please turn on your post notification bell so that way when a video is posted, you'll be the first to be notified. If you find this information uh, relevant or helpful in any way at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below and feel free to absolutely go ahead, like and share this video with someone. The more you engage this video, the more you interact is the more the views will go up. The more the views go up, the more the video will be sent out so we can be a blessing to more people so let's just go ahead and get the ball rolling for today's video shall we so today as i said earlier um it's a it's a question that many many most persons have been asking and trying to understand should christian state the vaccine and is it actually the mark of the beast no the speculations and predictions of the whole mark of the beast has been a very prevalent topic as um it has often it has been said before that uh the chip implant is a is a mark of the beast um barcodes no the vaccine there are so many things that have actually um came along that were actually assumed to be the mark of the beast no when you read through revelation chapter 13 um it actually speaks about the mark of the beast and um before we get to the mark of the beast we understand that first there must actually be um there's actually going to be a seven year tribulation period so i'm going to give you this a quick rundown i'm not going to go in depth on a lot of things i possibly may do it on another video so i'm not going to go in depth but i'm going to give you the necessary information that can help you to decide whether or not the vaccine is the mark of the beast personally i do not believe that the vaccine is the mark of the beast it is not and this is why i believe this now one of the first things that will happen is uh well naturally the bible says that we are in the last days we must understand that last days and end times are two different things we're in the last days the last days is what actually leads up to the rapture so in the last days the bible says that god will pour out his spirit upon all flesh which we're actually seeing that is happening right now there are many great prophets who are out there there are many anointed powerful men and women of God uh, even children also that are um, releasing the word of God doing signs and wonders miracles healing the sick cast and devils out we see all these great great signs of the opening of the spirit of the Lord we also see our uh, rumors of wars uh, we hear about rumors of wars we see sicknesses we see earthquakes and we see all these disasters happening in the earth now this is a sign that we're actually in the last days according to the book of matthew no the last days leads to the rapture as i said in the rapture this is where the bible speaks about um the believers being caught up the word rapture is actually not in the bible there are several words that are not listed in the bible the rapture is one of those words no in the book of first thessalonians uh, 4 verse 17 this is what it says then we wish our alive will remain then we wish then we wish are alive and remain shall be caught up that word caught up is what we translate as rapture will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air so shall we ever be with the lord so we understand there are several other scriptures that go along with this so my understanding and um a lot of theologians understanding is that the rapture will first take place now i want you to be very careful you have to study the bible for yourself you have to understand the word of god for 
for yourself. When it comes to eschatom, um, eschatomology, you have to know the word of God for yourself. You have to understand what the scripture is saying and what God is actually saying to you. There are many persons that believe in pre-tribulation, uh, mid-tribulation, post-tribulation as to when the rapture will actually take place. As for me, I believe very firmly that the rapture will take place before the tribulation because um, in Revelation 3 and 10, it says, because thou hast kept the word kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell in the earth. And I believe that this is speaking about the tribulation that will actually come and the things that will also happen within the tribulation. So firstly, I believe in the rapture, that the rapture will come, that there will be the sound of a trumpet that God will cause his angels to begin to gather the people from the four corners of the earth that we will be caught up to be with Christ and uh, once we are caught up, once we are raptured with the Lord then I believe that the tribulation will then begin to happen now in the tribulation there are a series of things that actually happen so there are seven weeks represent, representing the seven years of tribulation in the book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 24 down to verse 27 thereabout uh, which actually speaks about the tribulation um, we understand that the tribulation is somewhat broken into two parts as some may say um, uh, in the first part is where we will encounter or um the earth the world will encounter the um the antichrist the peace treaty so what will happen in the first segment or the first part of the tribulation is that the antichrist will actually rise up the antichrist will rise up and uh he will actually sign a peace treaty it is said that the antichrist will rise up out of israel which is the epicenter of the earth so this will be um this will be this will be like um I don't want to say a king per se, but this this thing will happen within the political sector. So there will be a peace treaty throughout the land where there will be peace upon the earth. There will be a period where there will be peace upon the earth. You won't hear about the wars and all of these things that are, that are actually happening. Now, in this period, um, the Bible says that when you think that it is peace and safety then it is sudden destruction when this peace treaty begins to happen from the first um the first beast when you read the book of revelation you'll understand that john describes and also daniel shares about the beast that they actually see in revelation chapter 13 it speaks revelation chapter 13 verse 1 all the way down it says and i stood on the sand of the sea and i saw a beast rise up having seven heads and ten horns and it it, it shares um a few other important information about the beast but we must understand that the first beast that actually rises up as i said i'm not going in depth but i'm trying to help you to understand why i don't believe that the vaccine is the mark of the beast when the first beast rises up um one of the things that we will see is that um this beast it it has it represents um uh various animals um the bear the bear represents the bear hold on the bear the lion and the leopard and um, this is actually in um well daniel shares his account on seeing the beast which represents the kingdom it is also said that the beast that rises out of the sea and i still not the sand of the sea the sea represents people so this beast actually that is rising up out of the sea is is a king or a political leader that will rise up among the people out of the people that will um that will rise up that will gain political influence and authority over the nation now with this happening there will be a second beast that will rise up this beast it is said to look somewhat like a lamb now this beast is one that will rise up and will reinforce worship of the first beast so all right so john describes the second beast which will rise up that will look like a lamb this will reinforce the worship of the first beast it will also enforce taking the mark of the beast now the mark of the beast is the mark of the beast is um, and uh, well that word mark actually is karagma the greek word for that mark is kara karagma karagma actually means um an image or something like a tattoo or something being engraved under the skin so this is actually like a literal mark which will be imprinted or marked upon the forehead or the right arm now without this there can be no selling no buying or anything which means that people are pretty much going to starve for death um they won't be able to get uh, medical assistance now which is why we can understand that some persons are saying this is why the vaccination is the mark of the beast because without having the vaccination 
one you can't travel you won't be able to go into certain places where possibly you would be able to buy food you can't get medication you needed to go to school and so we see where these things are actually coming in no the the vaccination is not the mark of the beast we can understand that it has the language of the mark of the beast where control and manipulation is um is is control and manipulation concerns however i do believe that the vaccination is um the chip and all of these things is a precursor or an introduction to the actual mark of the beast because let's remember the mark of the beast happens um within the tribulation within the tribulation the rapture would have already taken place which means that the elect the saints of god would have already been uh caught up to be with the lord so if the rapture has already happened and um the tribulation is not happening um the beast is going to rise up doing all these crazy things the bible says that the beast will have authority over the earth for seven years will have dominion authority over the earth to do whatever they want now in this period this is where those that remain who have not yet accepted christ will have an option will have an will have the chance rather to accept the lord and savior however it will be extremely difficult because they will be living in a dispensation where they will be forced to take this 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 mark so that they can eat so that they can survive it is said that for those that do not take the mark of the beast that they will uh, possibly be beheaded so they do have a choice whether they will worship the mark of the beast it is actually the worship of the beast that allows you to receive the mark which means that there is actually an option you have a choice whether you want to worship the beast or not you're not necessarily being forced in that time you aren't necessarily being forced to worship the beast you have a choice whether you want to or not because in this time you will have the choice to the chance and the choice to actually accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior except it will be very difficult because then you'll be forced will with okay so I'm going to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior but I'm going to starve for hunger because I don't have the mark without the mark I can eat I can buy I can sell I can do anything so it's going to be difficult as also is a possibility that you will be beheaded without the mark of the beast now with all these things happening in the tribulation the elect would have already left so we understand that the mark of the beast does not um necessarily has anything to do with any form of medical procedure any form of injection or anything of that sort furthermore i personally believe that we won't even be here to experience the mark of the beast so one of the things that we should be concerned, one of the things that we should be looking forward to is preparing for the rapture, not trying to so much. It is important that we understand um, study of end times and last days and all of these great prophetic things that we will that will manifest before the second coming of Christ. But it's also important that we make sure that our hearts are ready, um, not so much concerned about um, will the rapture happen pre-trib, mid-trib or post-trib or um but the mark of the beast be 666 what does 66666 mean is it that it means um not perfect as according to 777 which is the perfect number of god as the creator of the universe um perfection uh these are not necessarily the things that we want to understand because i do believe that the further you go into trying to understand certain things is the more it may somehow mess with your mind so that you will not want to believe in christ you won't want to believe in the sovereign god because the questions questions will arise if i'm serving god for so many years on earth why would he allow us to go through the tribulation where we are going to be tormented um or 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 tempted by by the antichrist by the mark by the beast why would he allow us to go through all of that as believers i do believe that he is actually going to save us from that time which is when the rapture will actually take place he says i will he says because of your patience i will deliver you from the hour of temptation so i strongly believe that um the rapture will seriously happen before it listen if you're watching this video you are not saved um as i perhaps i need to teach more on the rapture and this is why i said in my last video that we need prophets that will actually rise up and begin to preach the true gospel of god not that prosperity isn't um a part of the gospel deliverance and breakthrough isn't a part of the gospel but something that should be um preached more than anything else in this time is the rapture of god the last days and the end times this is something that we need to hear more than ever because people have legit questions people are asking a lot of questions concerning the last days i understand 
understand why many pastors, many prophets don't want to get into the teaching of end times because of um, the, the controversy and the, the speculations and all of the chaos surrounding. Well, I don't want to say chaos. The word of God is not chaotic. It is straightforward. But because of all of the misunderstanding and ignorance surrounding the rapture and pre-tribulation, I can understand why. But it is necessary because the body of Christ must understand that the Bible speaks about being in the last days. The things that will happen in the last days were in the last days. And it is actually in the last days that the rapture will happen. Like, um, what if you're watching this video and the rapture just happens in the twinkling of an eye? The truth is the rapture will happen and many persons will probably miss this because it's going to happen in the twinkling of an eye. It's going to be so quick. Bam! We're just going to be just caught up. Our, mortals, our mortal body shall become immortal. We will be changed from corruptible to incorruptible in the twinkling of an eye. Like, just like that. Like, like this this is exactly how it's gonna happen that's it so apparently there apparently i'm trying to i'm i'm, I'm just of the notion that there will be some people that will not even not even realize that the rapture has happened unless they you're talking to somebody and while you're talking to somebody they just disappear or maybe you're watching this video and in the twinkling of an eye i'm no longer here you're just looking at the empty background right here holy spirit i love you god mm. Unless you're watching this video and I just disappear in the in the twinkling of an eye because the rapture comes. Um I feel the Holy Spirit. I, I can't even kid you. This is what we need to be ministering more than ever before. The rapture, being ready for the rapture. I was listening to a minister earlier um this morning that spoke about um the rapture happening. Uh, mid-tribulation after the antichrist and the mark of the beast and all that has happened uh, before the great tribulation so it is said that in pre-tribulation that the antichrist will come the mark of the beast will come and we won't be able to buy sell we'll be tormented by this thing and all of that so that's what will happen in the first part of the tribulation uh, the last part of the tribulation where there will be um, Armageddon and the Christ will come and deliver and, and will destroy the beast and so on and so forth that's what we we will escape the wrath of God the post um, the last part of the tribulation is said to be the wrath of God being poured out upon the people no this is what it is said that God will um, there's some people that believe that this is what God will actually save us from no um, either way I don't stand for that I believe that the rapture will happen before tribulation with that being said the rapture is very important as i said before because we are living in the last days and we must be ready the person i was listening to earlier it almost slipped my mind sorry he said that um he, apparently he's a minister of the gospel and he is of the belief and this is what he teaches ministers that we must be ready for we must be prepared mentally physically in our hearts that we will go through the tribulation that we will go through the heartache the pain the hunger and all of these things that will come at us from the beast from the antichrist and so uh, we must be ready for that as i said i i stand opposing that that idea that perspective as the rapture should happen will happen before the tribulation based on my understanding of the scripture the scripture clearly states this if you want me to do an in-depth video on the rapture i certainly will and also if you want me to do an in-depth video on tribulation pre-trib mid-trib post-trib um you can also let me know also and i will do that but as it relates to the the vaccination um taking the vaccination does not mean that you're signing up for the mark of the beast uh taking the chip does not mean that you're also signing up or you will be you will have to take the mark of the beast when it comes around no because the mark of the beast has not come as yet um having six sixes on your hand is not the mark of the beast either um it's just a notion or a precursor it's a sign of what is actually going to come so um it's just promoting the mark of the beast that will come in other words that's how i see it um you may think i'm wrong but um that's just what it is but um as far as i'm concerned where the vaccination is concerned um it helps it is it is said that it is 95 percent proven to cure the covid 19 um it is needed if you want to travel um in jamaica our students over 12 years old should be taking the vaccination in order to actually go back to school so there i'm sure that you guys want your children to go to school we're living in a country we're living in a time where 
where um especially in jamaica your kids have to go to school so it, it's just it's a difficult situation and to each his own so based on your own revelation your own um conviction you can take it i'm not i am I'm, I'm not in a position to force anyone or tell them don't take it because the mark of the beast that's very wrong any minister that is out there that is preaching forcing or trying to convince the saints that do not take it is the mark of the beast or whatever it is that is very much incorrect i'm telling you that's very much incorrect um i know many great ministers that have have had to travel that had to take the vaccination that had to go to do um the work of god that had to take the vaccination and uh, I, I don't think that these men of God would actually sign up for the mark of the beast. Men that actually hear God. So um, I don't believe it's a mark of the beast. But to each his own, it depends on the type of life that you want to live. If you want to put yourself through unnecessary tribulation by not taking the mark of the beast, the government will come down on your house and you'll have some explaining to do. And it's just going to be very chaotic. I'd say save yourself the trouble. Um, stand still. See the salvation of God. Allow God to, allow God to help you in this season. He will not give you more than you can be. Bear. uh pray and talk to the lord for yourself to know what he is saying and what he's doing in this time prophets who are out there i'd suggest i'd implore you that you begin to educate the people on what is really happening don't try to drive fear into them give them knowledge so they they can understand and they can make decisions on their own based on what you have shared let's share the true gospel of christ let's share about salvation people need salvation more than ever before we need to hear about the rapture and what will happen more than ever before that is what is necessary that that is the gospel that should begin to be spread um, in this time and in this season. So this is what I wanted to share with you. My ideas, will I be taking the vaccination? Sure, I will. Um, if the needs arise, there are certain things I need to do in the future. And if I'm ever going to do these things, I will have to be vaccinated. I just haven't gotten around to it as yet. Truth be told, I'm not opposing the vaccination. I just haven't gotten around to it as yet. So that's my stance on um, the vaccination um, where it is concerned. I want you to leave in the comment section though. Um, have you gotten the vaccination? What are your thoughts on the vaccination? Will you be taking the vaccination? Do you believe that the vaccination is the mark of the beast? I certainly don't. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. I want to have a discussion with you. Please make sure you share this video so that we can um, help someone. We can share this knowledge with someone and be of help to someone um, some way. All right. So remember to subscribe, like the video, and share, comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.